Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how to export a Canvas course into a zip file and share it with another instructor via OneDrive. At that point the other instructor can download that file to their computer and then import it into their own Canvas site. This way you don't have to add the other instructor to your class as a teacher and risk them editing your content or pressing some button that they shouldn't. So the first step is to go into your Canvas dashboard and click on the site that you want to export and share. You're going to scroll down the course navigation list and select settings. Next on the right list you're going to click on export course content. You can see I've exported a few of these but you're going to go down to export type and select course and then click on the blue button create export and depending on how large the course is this next step could take a little while but at least canvas gives you this nice bar that shows you the progress so once this bar is turned completely blue you'll notice there's a little link right above it that says new export that's what you're going to click on to download that course file to your computer. And you can see because I'm in Chrome it shows the name of the site and the end of the file it'll say IMSCC. And depending on where your downloads go this could end up in your download folder, could end up on your desktop. If you're in Chrome you can click the little up arrow and select show in finder and this will show you on your computer where that file was downloaded to you can see on mine it's gone to my downloads folder and just remember that it ends in IMSCC so that's a good way to search for it in case you don't know where it downloaded to so the next step is to upload this file into your OneDrive and to do that you're gonna log into your campus email and then in the upper left corner next to the word Outlook you click on the nine dots and from here you can select OneDrive and the reason we send it through OneDrive is because this file is way too big to send via email once you're in OneDrive you can click on upload at the top and select files Next we're going to look for that file in the finder. I know it's in my downloads folder so I'm clicking on downloads and because I have these organized by date you can see that the one that just downloaded today is the most recent so it's at the top. I can click on that and select open or you can just double click it and it will upload. And again depending on how big the file is and how strong your internet connection is it might take a little while to upload once it's uploaded you can click on share the pop-up or if you have to come back to this later you just go to your OneDrive and then click on the name of the file and then in the upper left corner you can click on share So here's where you would type the name of the other instructor or their email address. I'm going to send it to my student email just as a demo, but you would type the name of the instructor within the district. And you can click on it once it pops up. If you want, you can type a message in here, tell them what course it is, and then simply click on send. So now that link to this file has been sent to the other instructor which in this case is myself and I'll show you what that looks like from their end. So they're gonna log into their email into their Outlook and they will see an email from you saying that they've shared whatever the name of the file is so in this case I've shared the practice site and you can click on the word practice site to access it 
and from here you have the option to download it and then they can import it into Canvas. So that's how you share it on OneDrive and how the other instructor would just click on the link in their email and download it. And that's it. Thanks for watching.